kidding. Hello and welcome to this reshade tutorial. Uh, we're gonna be covering the very basis of reshade, the basic stuff about reshade to get most of your doubts out of the window. Uh, this tutorial that I series, this tutorial series that I'm planning on doing. Uh, I'm gonna try to cover all the basics of reshade and how to get reshade working, how to get your preset working, and yeah, uh, let's get started. This will be the how to install reshade and uninstall it as well. So we're gonna go to reshade.me, click on download, click on download again. This version is version 4.9.1. Uh, it should be the same for every version that comes uh, in the future. Uh, we're gonna click it. Uh, sometimes it gives an um, antivirus error. Don't, don't mind that, that's a false positive. Uh, we're gonna click on select the game that you want to install Reshade to. We're gonna click on browse. Uh, this time we're gonna install it to Tomb Raider. So let's go to my Steam library and gonna search for Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider, there we go. Uh, here's the Tomb Raider uh, executable. We're gonna click it and we're gonna click open. And here Reshade asks what API the game uses. So we're gonna go to the PC gaming, PC gaming wiki. We're gonna go to Tomb Raider. And it should be the 2013 one. Yeah, this is the one that we want. We're gonna scroll down and we're gonna search for API. So ports issues crashing api here we go so it supports directx 9 and 11 since uh, we are running on a kind of powerful pc we're gonna select direct 3d 10 11 or 12. if you're if you are in doubt or reshade doesn't pick the api the right api for your game just go to to pc gaming wiki and search for the game that you want and they probably will have the api information about the game uh, if it's OpenGL or whatever, so we're gonna click here. Let me open the folder for the game so you can see what's going on. I'm gonna right click properties, uh, local files, and browse. It's gonna open the game folder for us. And here we're gonna hit uh, direct, direct 10, direct X10. And right, uh, we can see that two folder, uh, two files already uh, are created here. And this reshade INI as well. This is a blank template for our or reshade installation uh, right here are the packages that reshade downloads by by itself like it automatically downloads uh, the standard effects they are the it's already selected here for us that's the, the utility effects and the CJ uh, suite effects pack that comes with Luma Sharpen, SMAA and some other goodies. Uh, here you can see there's a square here. That means that if I hit on OK, uh, the next window is going to ask me which shaders do I want to, to download. So since I want all of them, I'm going to leave a check mark and I want all of those shaders. So if I, I don't want to click twice on every one of them, I'm going to uncheck out and check out. And right here on the last option, you see legacy standard effects. Uh, those effects are used on previous versions of reshade. Like if you have like, for example, a uh, preset that was made for version 3.4.1 of reshade and you need those effects, you download them right here. I'm gonna uh, show you how to uh, downgrade your reshade version if you so desire. But since we are using a more up-to-date version, we're gonna leave this ticked off. Uh, every time you install it, uh, you never install this uh, because it's gonna cause some uh, compatibility issues because some shaders will will be double. So okay, I'm selecting them all and we're gonna click OK and it's gonna download all the effects. You can see it created a folder right here. This folder we have two more folders and one of the shaders and one of the textures. So you can see right here. Uh, this shaders one uh, is gonna. Uh, put every pack on its own uh, little folder. That's because some packs they need the FX folder, uh, FX a FXH folder. That's a header file. Uh, and some, uh, for example, the Queen's pack, they have their own uh, header file, and that keeps things organized. So we're gonna click uh, settings, and here you can see the, the uh, reshade itself added all the 
paths that we need. I'm gonna hit OK and we can close this right now. So if I gonna if you click on play again, play again and open up the game, we can see reshade is installed. We press home and here you go. There's a little, neat little tutorial for us on how to create my first preset and hit enter, hit continue, 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 and it should read that by the way. It's a it's very useful. So if we click for example on curves, you can see right here that the shade is already installed. You can see how I'm changing the settings. So if you if you don't want reshade anymore, I'm gonna quit the game. And we're gonna run reshade again. So if you're gonna go, if you go to my downloads folder, run reshade again, and select the game. Click browse and select the same game that you selected before. Click on open. Click on the same API that you selected before, and it's gonna prompt you. Hey, you wanna uninstall or you wanna update? And I'm gonna click on uninstall. Let me just bring the folder right here. Open the folder. So I'm gonna click on uninstall. You're gonna see that uh, the shaders folder is gone, the D3D9 is gone, and only your preset that you created will be left behind. And there's a neat little message. Reshade, uh, reshade setup was successful. And that's how you install and uninstall Reshade to your games. So yeah, see you in the next tutorial.